okay, hey, my strong guards. Um, we're talking about some basic skills I need you to be able to master for this season. Here's the good news. They're all blocking skills. Here's the bad news. You may never, ever, ever hold. Let me repeat that again in case you couldn't hear it over the vacuum cleaner. You may never, ever, ever hold. This is why we take a long time teaching our ice pick technique. And we only let you do this if you're getting on a pencil net geek. But you may never, ever, ever hold. No unforced errors. Don't make us go backwards. But let's take a look at the blocks we want you to be able to do. Okay, so my strong guard, here you are. First block we want you to be able to do. And this is the block you do for our rocket pitch. Remember where this guy goes wide and we pitch the ball to him wide? We need you to be able to do the stove pipe. That's where the tight end's gonna block on. And you and our tackle are gonna go flat and fast. Remember, flat and fast. And you're gonna curl up into that stove pipe looking for linebackers coming across. Now, strong guards, don't forget that after the first couple of games, I'm going to send you in the opposite direction on this play. Do you remember Gorilla? Do you remember Uno? Do you remember Dose that we did in the indoor sessions? So be familiar that when you get those Spanish words, you're pulling in the opposite direction. Okay, second um, block that you need to be able to have is our kick out. Now remember how our kick out works. This is when we're probably gonna be running 6GO and we're going down and we're going down. You, as our guard, have to kick out the end man on the line of scrimmage. How do you do this technically? Pickpocket technique. Reach out to that tackle, put your hand on his outside hip and push him by. example of the pickpocket technique from this player who's supposed to be the guard and this player who's the center. I want you to watch his right hand reach out to the center's right hip and push him by. That's going to put him in a real good position to take on his kick out from the inside out, almost like a J block, rather than going straight down the line. This view is pretty good, but in the next clip, we're going to see them coming towards us, and it's way better. So just watch this. On go. Go! Corwin, that was excellent. Let's just go back real quick. Watch his right hand. See him reaching out? There's a good clip of it. And by doing that, it puts his shoulders on an angle inside. So where he's naturally going to have his head in the hole for the kick out. That's a pretty good view, but check out this next one. This next one is better. Go. Great clip. Corwin, that's really I'm talking to Coach Wyatt right now. That's a great clip. Watch. Pickpocket. Perfect. And look at what that does for his shoulders and eyes and his feet. Puts him in a natural position to come inside. That'll force your shoulders to turn in the correct angle so that even if this end steps down, you'll be inside of him and you'll be able to kick him out. So kick out block is your number two. Second thing I need you to be able to do um, as a strong guard, I need you to be able to occasionally run the, cir run the circle. Um, we might have you run the circle if we're running that quarterback sweep. And that is where you do that crossover step, just like the strong tackle does. You get out on the perimeter with your shoulder square, and you look to turn in to find any linebackers chasing. You're going to have to pass block. If you're the strong guard, and when we go red or blue protection, you always have the number one person from the center over. Now be aware, that means if they have a classic nose guard, somebody lined up right over the center, he's yours. Because this is the number one guy. 
we're rarely going to see that. What you will probably see is somebody either lined up in this gap or in this gap. That's number one, and he's yours. If he's lined up on the inside gap, we post hard. If he's lined up in your outside gap, we kick slide to keep him out of our pocket. Finally, the last one that you're going to have to do, you need to be able to wedge block. And I know we love wedge blocking, but if we're doing our wedge and we're bringing that tackle over this year, and that's going to be our Toledo wedge, that means we will have guard, tackle, tackle, tight end. And we're probably wedging right on the tackle. So the tackle will make the call. But let's imagine guys lined up right on the tackle. And then what we would have, tackle blocks him on, this tackle wedges in, and you wedge in as well. If he's lined up here, then you and the tackle would double team, and there would be a wedge pushing on you. You got to be able to wedge if you're going to play strong guard. So, oh, one more thing. On that kick out, don't forget that when we run green, we don't have you kick out anymore. We have you act like you're kicking out. And then you have got to hook the defensive end because the quarterback is going to run outside. So, Strong guard is the tip of the spear. You're pretty much who we're running behind. What do you need to be able to do? Stove pipe. Kick out and hook. Um, run the circle. Pass block and wedge. Five skills. Probably more than we ask the other offensive linemen to do, but that's why you're the tip of the spear. Okay, strong guard. Let's have a good season.